Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my art channel. In today's video I'm doing another painting in my sketchbook and it's going to be a cute little bird sitting on a cherry blossom branch today. And as you can see I've taped off the edges of my painting just to give me this nice clear border at the end of it. And I'm sketching out my little bird just using a mechanical pencil and following my reference photo. Um, the photo, the reference, I either got from Unsplash or from Pixabay, I can't remember right now. And I don't actually know what kind of little bird this is, but it's a very cute little bird. <laughs> and uh, so I decided to paint him. painting in a good amount of detail for this little painting. Sometimes I just will indicate things. Here I uh, really drew out that little bird and the foreground branch fairly detailed. And now I am painting a mostly wet into wet background. I haven't pre-wetted the paper in this case but I'm just putting down my paint very quickly and I'm using different hues of pink and blue and a little bit of brown to indicate out of focus branches and um, yeah that's just my background really out of focus dropping in a little bit more color now and letting it dry and after I dried it it was a little bit too light for my liking so I actually re-wetted it with clear water and um, added in a little bit more brown for the branches just to darken them up a little bit more. I still want them out of focus. And here on the right hand side I'm painting in a branch that's a little bit further to the foreground and that area already dried obviously so it's not blending with the background as much and I'm using a much darker mix of brown, much more intense color and also indicating some of those petals and I'm going back over that out of focus branch and um, because it has started to dry I blended the color a bit with some clear water and now you can see I'm starting to work on my little bird and this little bird is uh, a bit yellow on the chest he's a bit green and brown on the back of his head and his wings and it has a kind of a gray beige color on his underbelly and I'm just letting those colors blend into each other for the most part as I paint some of the areas will dry a little bit further but I keep working on him and um, if some of the areas had dried a little too much for my liking I just used some water to help blend that color out and there you can see I'm also putting in a little bit of brown for his eye and a really dark mix for his little beak. You can also see on the feathers of his wing um, there's some more detail there. You can see the individual feathers a little bit. I use a really dark mixture for that mixture of dark blue, well of ultramarine blue and dark brown. And here you can see I'm starting to paint in the foreground branch and I'm using a fairly reddish brown for this. And the brush I'm using is a silver black velvet brush and it's a relatively small size. It's a watercolor brush that holds a very nice fine tip. I'm starting to paint in those little petals as well. The petals are um, a nice pinkish red at the top of them and at the bottom they have a little bit of yellow and in between there's kind of a white area. So I let those colors kind of flow into each other a little bit when I was painting one of those petals earlier. And I'm working on the branches some more using again a very dark mixture of paint to 
to add a lot of contrast and darkness to the shadow areas. And some more pink on those petals. down too much paint you can always lift it up again or blend it out with some water. And again you can see how the top of the petals are in a relatively intense pink and they get lighter towards the bottom of the petal. And again I'm adding more detail to my little bird. And adding more detail to my branch, I'm actually using the same color for this. Just a mixture of dark brown and blue. Indicating some little feathers on his head. And also adding some more glazes of a greenish yellow. And some more yellow to his chest just to make that more intense. And it already looks pretty much finished at this point, but I still continue painting for a decent amount of time, just always refining and adding more detail, adding more contrast. Until it looks exactly the way, the way I want it to look. Adding a little bit more detail to the bird, some feathers I'm indicating with a slightly greenish brown. And then some more of the dark mixture for his little feet. I think the thing that makes this painting look really appealing is the amount of detail you have in the foreground and also the amount of contrast here between light and dark and the way the background is nice and blurry and out of focus and light. It just really makes the bird and that little branch in the foreground really come towards you and look more realistic. And again, I added a little area of color and then blended it out with some water. That way I didn't have to necessarily pre-wet my paper to get that blurry effect. And some more feather details to his head and to his wing. And again, I'm glazing paint over him and I just keep going <laughs> until I have the result I want, as I said before. Sorry about my head being in the picture part of the time. I guess I needed to concentrate a lot and felt like I needed to be really close to the painting. <laughs> in any case, I hope you enjoyed watching my painting process and I hope you like my little bird and possibly painted along with me. Let me know what you think about my painting in the comments down below. Remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again soon in one of my next painting videos. So take care and until then, bye bye.